New at 10, it took a good Samaritan to chase down a purse snatcher in Sheboygan, but he wasn't the only one who helped save the day. Good evening, I'm Katie Crowther. Shannon Sims is off tonight. Numerous people helped the victim of this latest attack and helped catch the suspect. Michelle Fiore has the story, new at 10. Well, there is now one man in custody, a 28-year-old from Sheboygan. And even though police aren't yet saying whether he's responsible for all the recent purse snatchings, the people we met are feeling a little safer tonight, considering the way in which the suspect was taken down. On Good Friday afternoon, something bad happened in this parking lot to a 54-year-old woman as she loaded pet supplies into her car. The lady had gotten tackled right around over here and uh, was yelling for help. Dustin Giffen says employees helped that woman into their store, and that's when they began to hear from other customers who saw the suspect outside for at least 10 minutes prior to the attack. We did have witnesses saying that he was standing right by the trees right there and also hiding right behind our solarium windows, watching the doorway, and also pacing up and down the mulch right there by the parking lot. Someone else also had his eyes on the parking lot. Jeremiah Bergman, a church-going guy, he saw the attack. So I'm tackler, and then he was running down Lincoln Avenue, going west. So I was skipping stairs. Yes. I was skipping stairs, running out. Bergman lost sight of the suspect, but kept going, catching up near 10th and Lincoln, where another good Samaritan already had the guy in a wrestling hold. So I walked past, I said, right, do you have this guy? He's like, yeah, if you could give me some help. So I tried to do the best I could. The assault on Good Friday is one of Sheboygan's several recent purse snatchings. The others happened outside a bar, a Walgreens, and Aurora Pharmacy. People here think it's pretty cool that so many jumped in to help. And one guy actually told us that he even feels much safer now knowing that there are people out there who are willing to step in to protect someone. In Sheboygan, Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4.